Official death toll from last week's massive flash flooding in two southern Philippine cities topped 1,000 on Wednesday, while authorities said they have lost count of the missing in one of the worst calamities to hit the region. Over 100,000 survivors are now having to come to terms with the loss of their loved ones or their homes. Our correspondent, Barnaby Lowe, reports. Trying to salvage whatever they could, these residents went back home, or what's left of their homes, for the first time on Monday morning, two days after deadly flash floods wiped their entire village out. Renato Carvajal remembers exactly where his home once stood, even though all that's left of it is this fraction of a column. The raging flash floods had swept away dump trucks from a quarrying site, adding to the damage that the flash floods were already wrecking. As soon as I had taken my kids to safety, or at least what I thought was a safer place, I saw this huge wave of water that was rushing towards me, and it brought with it all kinds of debris. Hanging on to whatever they could, Renato and his wife and children just went with the flow until they found themselves hours later safe but stuck on the rooftop, several towns away. And it took several more hours before rescue workers were able to reach them. Why are they taking actions just now? It's too late. That night, people were crying for help, but no help came. The sheer magnitude of the devastation here has left local governments scrambling to provide for the needs of survivors and to search for hundreds, perhaps even thousands more people still missing. According to the government's disaster management agency, close to a thousand people are now confirmed dead. And that number could still go much higher. One, two, three. Some 10,000 government troops have been deployed for search and retrieval operations. But the most affected areas are some of the most densely populated in the region. And with bridges collapsing, the ground still thick with mud and a lack of body bags and proper equipment, searching for the missing is proving to be a challenge. So far, we have only been using our bare hands here. It's hard when we have to clear trees to get the bodies. We need a backhoe. It's an almost impossible but necessary task. Survivors of the flash floods did not only lose their homes, but most of them have either lost loved ones or still can't find them. Parents and children separated. Renato may have been able to save his children, but he fears his parents may not have survived the tragedy. Barnabilo CCTV, Southern Philippines.